Hey y'all and welcome to another vlog. Listen, I hope you all have enjoyed the video of our little vacation that we took to Orlando, Florida. Hey. It was so much fun. Yes, it was. But while I'm sitting here and it's fresh on my mind, if you ever see us in public, if you ever see us in your city, if you ever see us in your country, don't make it weird. Just speak to us. Listen, I'm going to tell you what had happened. We were at Universal Studios and I noticed because I'm very aware of my surroundings. I noticed that there was a group of girls that just kept watching us. And I was like, first of all, OK, what you trying to do? What you trying to fight? I mean, what you want? So I noticed that the look was kind of more out of curiosity, like, do I know them? Do I not know them? So I kind of positioned myself to myself to walk where they were hoping that okay if this is the case you'll say something they didn't say anything so we ended up going and sitting down at what was it stand like bubble gump yeah bubble gump. we went to bubble gump to go ahead and sit down and wait for our bus to come pick us up to take us back to our hotel while we're sitting in bubble gump waiting for our table to get ready who shows up in bubble gump needing to use the bathroom said group of girls and they just watched us the entire time. So me and Shan looked at each other and was like, they definitely recognize us from YouTube. But just speak. Just say something. Don't be petting each other like. And I'm like, just just speak. <laughs> Don't make it weird. We are normal people. We're approachable. We're not mean. Yeah, I do have rust and bee face. But you're going to do all that. Just speak. Just speak, y'all. What's up, good people? There's the husband over there. He yeah. is watching. So this is our favorite couple that um, are financial gurus, and we've learned so much from them. Yes. Listen. Okay. So if you have not um, subscribed to Wealth Nation, go ahead and do so. We'll link it down in the bottom bar below. It was the one that inspired me to want to get out and start my financial channel because they always talk about uh, monetizing your knowledge. Or getting your knowledge out there in the marketplace because people need to know and so that's why that's why i really want my financial channel so somebody came through was asking about it um and uh, my wife responded to them that is actually working in the background we're still working on some things we got to do because it's new but hey it's coming um i don't want to put an eta out there because i don't want to bound myself up but i'm working on some stuff um and as soon as it launches I'll let y'all know what he said. But um, yeah, as you all can tell, I came straight home from vacation and I took my hair out because real talk, I ain't supposed to be doing it. So yeah, I wasn't supposed to have a protective style over my locks because my locks are so young. But Tiffany. Get my, her, Tiffany. My lock tissue. Get her. Who I, watches the channel. Hey, Tiffany, I, I saw it. back. Every time she be <laughs> trying stuff that you told her not to do, I'll be like, now you know Tiffany. Don't want you to do that. Tiffany, to my defense, they were not attached to my locks. I had put Conecolon hair and braided it over top of my locks. Like my ha my locks were incorporated in the Conecolon hair. But I made sure that each butterfly lock was crocheted into the fake hair and not my actual lock. So I only had them in for four days. And I came home soon as the plane landed. We got unpacked. We sat on the porch and I took them out that same day. You should be proud of me. You probably ain't proud of me because you probably said you should have never did it. Exactly. So you did all that explaining just like a kid do on why they disobeyed their parent. She disobeyed you, Tiffany. So get her when she come over there and with you. Yeah, I'll be over there next week, Tiffany. So if I got any holes in my locks, then I'm just going to have to pay. <laughs> I'm just going to pay. But um, no, I, I examined and everything looks like they good and good to go. They flourishing though. This side is so much shorter than this side. But yeah, like I said, we had a wonderful, wonderful time. Me and my husband have a story that we need to tell you all about what had happened at Benihana's. I'm not going to tell you right now because my husband ain't in a position to start talking about it because he in his serious mode. No, he in his serious mode. And he yeah, watching he financial. He's learning about money. Yeah, he learning about money, so he ain't trying to be funny right now. But before this vlog is over, we're going to talk about it. But let me about to take y'all on a journey. 
because I'm about to leave him to his financial stuff. And I'll, yeah. talk, to, I'll talk to y'all in another location. So yeah, I don't know what it is that we're about to eat for dinner tonight. Today is Friday, if I did not tell you all that. Um, so last week around this time, we were actually in Florida. So my mind is saying sushi, but it means that I have to get up and go and get it. And I don't feel like getting it. Um, my girl, Miss Honey, hey baby. She asked me how was living the plant-based lifestyle on vacation. It was horrible. Horrible, 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 horrible. Look, being plant-based and not in your own element, and especially in the baby stages, it was a lot. Like restaurants do not cater towards your um your diet. Um, there were a few places that we found in Orlando that for the most part as extensive as they went was beyond burger that was it so did i live a plant-based lifestyle while on vacation 90 percent of the time i did when i went to benihana's i was so sick and tired of eating seafood and vegetables that i got the shrimp and the chicken hibachi combo but i'll be honest with you i think i ate three pieces of like the chicken chunks like that big y'all know how it is when they do the hibachi i think i literally ate three pieces of it and i was done for um when we went to we went to another restaurant it was seafood it was um caramelized brussels sprouts it was things like that so for the most part we did really really well but there were times where like when we were in the amusement park you you just go with it so we had churros we <laughs> I did have an impossible burger and fry no onion rings while I was there. I also ate a corn dog because it was looking delicious and it was delicious. What else? I think that's as extensive as it went. Like when we went to the Jamaican um spot, we went to the Bar Molly place. We had jerk cauliflower wings and then I had curry shrimp. So yeah, I would say 90% of the time we did very, very well. Um, and then those times where we didn't do well, we did not do well. But yeah, I don't know what I'm about to eat. So I'm about to check back in with y'all later. And I decided that I am going to make crispy fish and shrimp tacos. So I'm going to go ahead and slice. Well, I'm actually going to dice up the tomato. I'm going to do the lettuce. That's as extensive as our toppings are going to get. I might do some brown rice on the side. So we can have a whole Spanish vibe going on. I have my missions carb wraps. How many do I have? Because I need at least four. One, two, three. I think it's only three. Hold on. One, two, three. Oh, no. Um, yeah. I'm going to figure it out. One, two, three. It's four. Yes. Look at God. Look at him. Oh, but let, while this is starting out, let me let me tell you something. All right, y'all. This is my luggage from the trip, right? This is actually another piece of luggage. You see how big it is? It's huge. So I decided that I was going to challenge myself to do carry-on only for this trip. So I ordered that right there. I had enough travel points on my rewards card to pretty much pay for that. And I think I owed like $20 afterwards. And Stanley used his old luggage. And yeah, we did carry on only, like we mastered that thing. And let me tell you, I can't go back. Like I cannot go back to standing in line, hoping and praying that your luggage comes down. Then hoping and praying that everything that you put in it comes out with it. Then hoping and praying that your luggage actually rolls after they have put it through the ringer of getting it back to you. Then having to pay money to actually have them to store your luggage underneath the plane. I can't go back to it. Listen, when we got off the flight, it felt so good to just take your skit and just be like... Man, I'm telling you, we passed by everybody and um, I said, look at the peasants. <laughs> Let me stop. But I looked at Stella. I was like, we done with that life right there. $30 a pop. Well, $30 on a minimum. That's on 
So I think JetBlue done went up to $32, which is my airline of choice. I think they went up to $32 for a check bag each way. So that's over 60 bucks added on to your flight cost. Listen, I like to I like to have options just like everybody else, but when you really think about it in the grand scheme of things, you can really scale back on a lot of the skit that you take on vacation, real talk. Um, and I felt like we had too much. Like there was stuff that we never wore. There was stuff that we never used. So I, I'm glad that we challenged ourselves to do with it, especially on this trip, because I can't go back. Like it just taught us so much. Like some toiletries, we bought the travel size so that once it's done, you know, take it, toss it for that trip. Toothbrushes, which you shouldn't actually have a travel toothbrush. I know that, right? Like you should have one to take for travel, but you shouldn't store that. Because the next time that you go to travel will probably be over 30 days away. That's gross. Just toss it in the hotel, Airbnb, or resort or wherever you stayed at, at your grandma's house. Don't bring it back with you. Take the toothbrush though and drink. Don't, don't, don't do that. I hit record it, Jap, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now, these cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring, now you can't afford it. Champagne, Perrier, finished friends on my face. Looking like I'm from the D, D's no Cartier. Pockets deep, 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 bro. I can make it in my seat, bro. Do you and do me, bro. serve um listen i wanted to put some cheese on top of it but we haven't been shopping since we got back and the cheese look real sus so i said i'm not gonna put that on there but here's the shrimp and here is the fish tacos um i have tomatoes on mine stanley doesn't brown rice looks sus too because i can't jazz it up the way that i want to so we about to grub and we about to get right into this <sighs> Y'all already know family that every time the wife's or the queen's, you know, all the names I got for my baby come through on the food, I got to come on the camera and testify why I got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Man, them shrimps. I said, baby, I said, them got no shrimps. It's the bomb. I said, these y'all gonna taste just like bang bang shrimp. She said, of course they do. Cause that's what I was going for. But I'm gonna go on record and say that I might, you know, make some of y'all mad, but that's okay. You get over it. It's be, it'll be all right. Uh, what? She competing with Bonefish, man. Oh. That's what I'm putting you at. Oh. With them. Oh. You competing with Bonefish. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm not just saying that because my wife, because y'all know we honest about the food. If you new here, if I cook something and I mess it all up, she gonna let you know. If she cooks something and mess it up, I'm gonna let y'all know. Yeah. So you go back and check the videos, you'll see. <laughs> but yeah, she competing with Bonefish. That's all I'm gonna say, man. As promised, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the queen said we need to come back and tell y'all about what happened at Benny Hanna's since we throw that out there in the last video. <laughs> well, it was this video last clip. Yeah. You know what? Sit down on it. We're gonna sit down and talk about it. Yeah. So y'all, y'all know how hibachi grills are set up, right? So what had happened was Shane had set us up for a private table of four, right? But we were running late. So they give you a 15 minute window to get there or they will have to sit you with the people that are just waiting. Right. So we were there within 15 minutes, but we still happened to have to sit with General Pop. <laughs> if you know anything about trying to get in Benihana's, <clears throat> The crowd can be a little sketch. Yeah. Not even gonna lie to you. Like, this is my first time being able to eat at Benihana because every time we try to go, you, ain't, you can't get in. So they was like, party of four, party of four, follow me. So we saw the party of which we were gonna be sitting with. It was like, okay, this is about to get real interesting. <laughs> so we sat down. <laughs> You know, Dre introduced himself to the people at the table. You know, break the ice a little bit because it's yeah. always awkward. And I spoke. And right, right. Yeah. 
Yeah, because it's awkward when you right. just sit with people and have a meal with people that you don't meet. I mean, that you don't know. Yeah. But then it turns out to be like magic. <laughs> so, let me paint a picture for you. Two girls, two guys. There's a guy that actually looked like if you had separated him from those three, you would have thought he was with us. Right. Then <laughs> there was two girls and then there was a guy. And we're not even trying to be funny when we say this. This guy was every bit of 500, 600 pounds. No exaggeration. Big boy was about as wide as this kitchen table. Right. Nice looking guy, well dressed. You could tell that he kept himself real, you know, real tight. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. But he was a big guy. He was a big dude, yeah. So, <clears throat> come to find out they were from New Jersey and they were down for vacation and whatnot. <laughs> this is when, <laughs> when, when, when <laughs> this, all turned. All of it turned. So waiter comes out, asks for everybody's order, one night. Went around the table. Oh boy, big boy. We go call him big boy because we don't know his name. He said, "I want a fish bowl." <laughs> okay, we know how big fish bowls are. Y'all know, right? Fish bowl. Yeah. And I said, "Okay, he go share it with his girlfriend." <clears throat> When I looked at girlfriend's stomach, I said, he ain't sharing that with girlfriend, a girlfriend He's pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> so, fishbowl came out, big boy, sucked that down, and then he took, <laughs> he took, <laughs> just like this. When he got to the very end, he said, but, but mind you, I didn't know all this was going on. I thought him and his girl was actually drinking and drinking out the uh, out the fish bowl. So I didn't even know all this was going on. Say all oh, they knew it because I didn't see that his girl was pregnant. So <laughs> waiter comes back around check on everybody. He was like, Oh yeah, y'all did good with that fish bowl. Now, <laughs> dude number two that's sitting over there with them that look like he could be with us, but he not. He looking at me talking about something. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, this whole time I still don't know what's happening. And I'm like, dude, you got to leave with that. Why are you laughing? Because the joke is, ain't nobody help big boy drink that fish bowl. Right. He, he drunk that fish bowl by himself. Yep. <clears throat> did you did you get it? We probably got it on video. We might have a little a, bit. Yeah. We're gonna blur his face because they good people. Right, yeah. But so this is a can funny, find it. yeah. This is a funny So you can story. have a frame of reference. So came time for our chef to come out and fix our food. So you know how they go around and, and confirm what you order, right? So they was like, you got this, 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 this. Well, he forgot to read off that big boy had some scallops mm -hmm. on his order. He said, ho, 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 ho. You got them scallops on there? <laughs> and now, and now, wait, get there. I, I get you on there. I get you scallop, I forgot. I got, yeah, the scallop on there. <laughs> so we're, he's, he's cooking the food. Now, mind you, Big Boy's personality has been like, hey, how y'all doing? Y'all good? Okay. Yeah. You know, it's been real, like. Real low key. Very low key. Yeah. When Chef started putting that skit on that grill. Oh, oh, homeboy came alive. He said, yeah, we got mm -hmm. action. <laughs> he said, uh-huh. He sat up in the seat mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. He said, yeah, uh-huh. That's mine right there. That calamari right there. That's <laughs> mine right there. <laughs> yeah. So you know how they... They don't give you enough food to help buy you. I don't care what nobody say. They fill you up with rice and zucchini, right. but they don't give you enough protein. Right. So he's taking all the food, slapping it on each other, on everybody's plate, whatnot. Uh, Big boy said, uh, uh, you, you got some more shrimp back there? Cause that's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> so the chef went back there and got two. <laughs> yeah, two more shrimp. <laughs> Two more colossal shrimp and cut them up like in fours. So he had eight little pieces of shrimp cut up. He buttered those up, put it on the plate. Cause you know, they do all the protein separate. Right. So then it's time for the main attraction. Mm. <laughs> it was time for Big Boy to get his steak. steak. 
<laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Stanley, you go ahead and tell it, because I missed part of it because I was laughing in the inside so hard that I said, big boy's gonna fight me. <laughs> because he, I told you, he just came out alive. Right, yeah. So when that bottle came out, that's, you know, he went to a whole nother level <laughs> when that bottle came out. He said, man, he said, man, y'all, man, do y'all smell that bottle? You, you smell that bottle? That, when you can smell it like that, that's when you know they using that good bottle. <laughs> So, so when the chef started cooking his steak, he said, hey, hey, can you put a little bit more butter on my steak? <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I cooked it. Sure, yeah, I put a little bit of butter, butter in it for you. And then when, he flipped it up in the air, he said, he butterfly. That, butterfly. <laughs> when he flipped that butter up, then that butter landed. <laughs> when that butter landed on that steak, when he was, Put, do that steak between that butter, that joke was, you see that butter? Mm, you see that butter? <laughs> Boy. And mind you, still Ooh. his friend that's over there with him, that yeah. look like he could be with us, is right. like, he laughing too. He got the steak on his plate. But that ain't it. He wanted some hot mustard. Mm -hmm. He said, hey, chef, you got <laughs> some of that hot mustard back there? <laughs> yes, I got that hot mustard for you. <laughs> he brought out two things of hot mustard. I really believe his friend ordered a hot mustard. I think he, he ordered did. a hot yeah. mustard, but he <laughs> came out with two. So he put one hot mustard down in front of Big Boy. And he was getting ready to take it and give it to his friend. Big boy said, oh, no, no, no. Both of them mine. <laughs> he sat up in that chair and he Ooh. said, he took that mustard, he said, mm -hmm. and he poured it all oh. over his rice. <laughs> Baby, you want to talk about somebody that was having them a good time yes, with their uh. food. Huh. Listen, when it was time for us to leave, homeboy had got so hyped that I promise you he told Dre and Shay a happy anniversary at least He's four times four before time. we left. Yep. Mm -hmm. Happy anniversary, y'all. Yeah, happy, happy anniversary. Yeah. yeah, man, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Happy, you, you know what, man? Happy, happy anniversary, anniversary, man. So y'all, y'all saw in the last video, which would be the vacation video, that we had mentioned while we were on vacation, we had a little kerfuffle. Let me tell y'all what had happened, right? Now y'all know we told y'all that we're fully vaxxed. So, Dre and Shan are also fully vaxxed. If you're not over on their channel, go over there. But if you are, you already know that. So, what they decided to do was, they wanted to do something different for their anniversary. I mean, they've been married 16 years. You've pretty much done it all. So they was like, let's invite Stanley Lynette. Let's come down. You know, they can come down and just have a good time. And that's what we did. So moving on towards what had happened. We're in the hot tub. We did not get in the pool because the pool was packed, but the hot tub only had like two people in it. It was a pretty large hot tub. So that means that we were able to be off to our own little corner and the people that were already in there can be off to their own little corner as well. Well, we're in there having a good time and there's a ledge where you can actually sit in the hot tub like you would a pool. So we're sitting there, it's me, Stanley, Dre, Shan. And we saw this lady, white lady, walking towards us and kind of just looking at us like, la 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 la, you know, pretty normal, pretty basic, pretty harmless, right? So she walks and she comes down the steps, which is beside Shan, and literally squeezes herself in between the steps and Shan which is about this much space. First of all, you are intruding on our space. We're, you can tell that we're trying to be isolated from people. You get in there and you're this close to us without a mask. Okay, whatever. So she gets in the pool and she starts talking to us about politics. And she was like, you know what? Politics are trying to ruin us all. Politics are trying to divide us all. And I was like, you know what? You're absolutely right about that. You know, and she keeps going on and on and on. 
And she was like, you know, where are y'all going tomorrow? Have y'all been to Universal yet? And we were like, we're going to Universal tomorrow. She was like, be careful about Universal because they will try to jip you out of your money. You're paying $30 for like a $2 teddy bear, da, da, da. You know, but I can afford it. So, you know, but at the same time, when I get this credit card bill, I don't want to have to tally it up for BS. And we was like, okay, yeah. We, we're, we're hearing between the lines, but we're not trying to read into it just yet. So we're sitting there, we're sitting there, and she was like, you know what? She was like, I'm so sick and tired of the world trying to put us against each other because we're more alike than we are different. She was like, if somebody were to bring out a gun right now and shoot at anybody, all of us could get shot because a bullet don't discriminate or who it shoots. And we was like, okay, yeah. And she was like, you know, George Floyd, I'm so glad that he got the justice that he was deserved because he was murdered on national TV. It was like, yep, he sure was. But she was like, but we have to stop being ignorant to say that all lives matter. All lives matter. Black lives matter. All lives matter. My life matter. Your life matter. And I said, I ain't say nothing then. Then she went on and she said, and Candace Owens was right. He is not the representative for black people. Oh, let me stop you there. Let me stop you there. First of all, black people did not nominate him to represent us. Let's go ahead and keep that above. We didn't pick him. Y'all did. Let's go ahead and keep that above. And um, I said, and let's not talk about Candace Owens because I can't stand her. And she was like, well, why? Why don't you like her? First of all, I don't need to explain to you why I don't like her, but I said, you know what? I said, Candace Owens is nothing more than y'all's pawn against us. Let's just go ahead and keep it a buck. Have you noticed that everything that she says or does is against black people and not for black people? So George Floyd, she had nothing good to say about him receiving any justice. It was all about what he was and who he was in his past. Had nothing to do with the incident that took place where everybody was viewing it. So she goes on and on and on. And she was like, well, well, educate me. Let me know. Let me know. And I was like, at this point, if you're not educated, it's because you don't want to be. It's really because you don't want to be. But we had a good little banter. But I got pissed off because we are the only black people in our area. You come over here with the all lives matter thing, which is nothing more than a rebuttal when we say that our lives matter just as much as y'all's matter. So we already knew where that was going to, but I felt like I handled it well. Shan got out of the, the hot tub because Shan was like, you know what, if I say anything, it's going to pop off. And I said, now one of us need to go to jail in this red state. So I felt like, and Stanley even looked at me, he was like, you handled that very, very well. You, you, you stood your ground, you looked her in her face, told her what you had to say and moved on. And she swam away with her tail tucked between her legs. Her daughter left her. That was the funny thing. Her daughter was with her. Her daughter left. Her daughter was like, mm -mm, nope. But on that note, if you ever need help with your vacation planning process, just look me up. Codefundtravel at gmail.com. I will link that down below. And I'm going to ask you this. Serious inquiries only. My time is valuable. I don't have time to be your Google. So if you really are in the market to start planning your vacation, I got you. I got you. Y'all see my candle? It's a candle that um Shan had bought me because she knows that I love champagne toast. And she also made us this custom cup. You probably saw it in the vacation vlogs. But it has our channel name on it, Life With Us TV. And she handmade this. And if you look at it real carefully, you'll see. Oh, yes. Do you see the glitter in that? So Stanley has the matching cup to it, so minus bomb, the glitter. Man, are, and yeah. you know our favorite uh, saying is, eh. Yeah, these cups are bomb, man. So yeah, he uh, has, his is yeah. exactly like mine, but mine has the glitter yeah. to make it a little, a little jazzed up for the yeah, females. he's a bomb. The entire vacation we had this joke, cause you remember old Friday where the whole day was like, hostess got a new twink um, cupcake, it's the bomb. <laughs> When you bite into it, stuff fall out of your mouth. Glitter. So that's what I'm talking about. With the cup, we was like, when you drink out this cup, all good things go in your mouth. 
Good <laughs> <little. laughs> Listen, we had a good time, yeah, man. man. And yeah. they're just as silly as, listen, you have to be as silly as we are to get along with us. But when right. we left that, <laughs> when we left over there at the Benny Harders, I thought Dre was going to have to pull over the car and let me out because yeah, I, could, I, I could, could not I could stop breathe. laughing. I could I not could breathe. breathe. Yeah. When that I was, was a whole comedy show into itself on wheels. Big boy in that... Yeah. Do, how he do it with, it with that smell of that butter hit it? How Man. you do it? Put, put your cut that because you got to do it how he did it. Man, he said, y'all... Man, y'all smell that butter? That's how you know that's that good butter, man. When you can smell it like that. <laughs> I say Big Boy was over there getting the whole orgasm off of that butter. I say when that food got on that grill, boy, his whole personality just flipped. I said, dang. I said, the funny thing about it, we always say, we attract craziness no matter where we are. We I'm just attracted. And I, I love, love it. I love that we can see the comedy and everything. And everything. Yeah, it pops out, and then we just come out. We just leave the place and just come home, and just boom, and sharing them the same way. So mm -hmm. we actually able to, was able to do it together, and it was yeah, it was too much. I couldn't breathe. So what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna put a pin in it. We're gonna close out this vlog for tonight, but we will pick up on tomorrow.